Hey guys, welcome to the 21st C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at continue. And what continue does is it will skip the rest of the code in a um, loop statement. So to get started, you're just going to want to have a button and a multi line text box on your main form. And then you're just going to want to double click on the button. And I already have some code here because it's just boring to watch me type this code and everyone knows how to do this. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to have if and then I is um, less than or equal to, uh, I'll say 10, then we're just going to do continue. And that'll what continue will do is it will skip the rest of the code in this for statement, but it's not like break because it will continue doing the for statement. It won't stop doing the for statement. So we're going to give it some code to skip here, and the code it's going to skip is going to be text plus one dot text plus equals um, i dot to string plus um, slash r slash n. So it'll just create a new line every time. So now um, what this will do is it will only print out into the text box um, numbers greater than 11 and um, less than or equal to, or I mean greater than 10 or less than or equal to 20. So let's debug. Should get 11 through 20. Yep, and there we go. And it will skip more than one line of code. So you can have like 20 or 30 lines of code right here and it'll just skip it. So now we're going to move on to the um, oops, I'm gonna comment that out there. We we'll move on to the for each statement, which is it's pretty much the same thing. I just want to show you that you can use continue in um, all the different loop statements. So um, for each character in my name, my name's Adam. So we're just gonna do if c equals a, then continue. And then we're just going to have text box one dot text plus equal c dot two string. So it should just print out a d oops should print out a d m because it this would have to be capitalized for it to skip out for it to skip this. So I'm just going to debug here. Say yep there a d m and same with the for statement. You can have multiple on, on lines of code here. And you can use this in while statements also. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any more, if you have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer it. So see you guys.